Hey, guess who's back? I am here with another episode of Terraria, and... Well, today, uh, I'm thinking about... Oh, oh, well, of course, I forgot I always leave that there. Um... A little out of it today, honestly. Another toughy day at work. Um, however, I will be off for this whole weekend. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. July the 4th weekend is when I'm recording this. So it's gonna be fun. Um, anyways, this is my last day before my day off. I'm excited. And, well, we're here with our usual things. Um, in the last episode, we crafted a diamond staff, I think. Oh, I didn't hurt him. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do today uh, I'm looking at the map here, and I really, really want to go to the snow biome. I, I need to make some kind of... something there. You know, I need to make a cabin or something there. So what I think I'm gonna do um, is do that, make two suitable housing areas, and put the painter and... who else? The nurse doesn't like that biome, but at least we can keep her here after that. The painter and the demo demolitionist right here, Morthal. Um, actually, let me go ahead and ask them what they think so far to make sure I don't put them with someone that they hate. <laughs> okay, so he wants less people. See, this is going to be good for him then. What about the painter? Okay, so neither of them liked all the people around here, so I'll solve two problems that way. Um, we'll get them into the snow biome and I'll be able to use a pylon. Uh, so first let's buy a pylon from the forest, or from the merchant. Uh, we can afford it now, so we're gonna just... Wait, no, I don't need to do that, I keep on forgetting. It's so weird having these conveniences that I didn't before. It happens in real life too, you know? It, it happens all the time. So, let's go over and grab a pylon. We'll put it on top of the of the dugout. Hello, Calvin. No pylon. Did I already buy a forest pylon? Maybe he needs to be living with someone that he likes? Okay, this guy does not like that Leonardo the Painter is around. So, um... It, like I said, I'll be solving a lot of problems in, in one little thing. So we'll get the painter and uh, the demolitionist moved to the snow biome. That won't be permanent. That's just going to be a for now thing. Um, but I think it'd be much better than what we've got going on right now. So we need to have an axe. Uh, I need to have some things, some tools to create a quick shelter for myself if needed. Um, so I'm going to take some wood with me. And we're going to take... Uh, I really wanted to do hardened snow blocks. I don't know if I can still make those. Let me see. Snow bricks, I think they're called. Oh, I can make snowballs. A frozen campfire. Let's go ahead and make one of those. Get our ice torches that we have right now. Ask uh, the mer uh, no the guide, Jake, that guy. Mm -hmm. 
workbench. Okay, so we can make a boreal wood workbench pretty easily. I'm not too worried about that. Um, here. Uh, this is something I know I'm kind of supposed to be doing stuff that helps me get to the Eye of Cthulhu, but really, this is what I want to do, so I, I just am gonna do it because that's what I want. <laughs> I really don't want to lock this guy out, but he'll he'll spawn back in there during nighttime whenever I go off screen. So we're just gonna go this way. We have a diamond staff now. I'm not very afraid of what's going on in this world. I think I can handle it. Oh, that's on the background, okay. Still not used to that. Dang! That was actually, like, easy. So was that. of a diamond staff. I mean, they're hurting a little bit, but not much. I think the grass is going to be hurting more than they are. What's this? This is the area that I just had to like kind of blast through. And yeah, this is not, they're not even hurting me now. This is awesome. Oh, oh, I got so close there. I really need to get a better bridge going for that area. Man, this is easy. Oh, crap. Um... Wait, what's this? Well, I'm gonna take it. I have to get out of here. Let me just use a rope. Slime rain. Well, that means we could fight King Slime. I'm not sure I want to do that right now. I kind of already had a set, a set goal for today. Let's just keep on proceeding to the to the ice. I'm proceeding to ice for right now. Okay, now we get to decide where to put the house. Oh, that was fall damage. I think I went way too fast there. Let's see. Of course, there is the cave, but that seems a little vanilla to put... God, 
slimes. Frustrating me. I like the idea of making um, an igloo, but I don't think it's going to be here. Maybe a bit further ahead. I don't really want to underneath an area like this. I'm, I'm throwing this thing around. Oh, I guess this is the end of the ice biome, so I have to do it somewhere around here. We've already been in here. Yeah, we've already been in this chest. You know, I'm not sure if there's more... Oh, this is the furthest we've explored in the world so far. Well, here, let's let's go back, decide on a place for the uh, for the shelter in the snow. This is a bunch of craziness so far. That's all I can say. I'm gonna get a slime king on my butt. But maybe I want slime king on my butt. Who knows? Oh my god. Wow, that is actually really effective. Okay. Keep that in mind if King Slime comes my way that this thing is probably going to be one of my best defenses against him. Or against these zombies! They're relentless! make a decision at some point or another. This is probably one of the worst times I could have done this. I'm trying to build during a slime rain at night with a whole bunch of... Oh my god, this is craziness. Ooh, that's the 50th blue slime. King Slime's not gonna be happy when he sees this. He's gonna be like, You've been killing my children! He's like, That's right. That's right. That's right. Lick it good. I killed your children just like I should. Right now. Lick it good. Okay. Don't come near me. You don't deserve it. Slimy slime, see what happens. King Slime is just like intent on getting us killed today. He's like, You've killed your last slime. I'm like, Oh, this is just the beginning. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> 
was a lot of work for just one little base slide. I'm making bank from this whole slime rain thing. Well, King Slime, you gonna show up or not? I kinda got some building to do, so if you can kindly screw up, I'd be appreciated. Oh man. to see them before they come near me because they're so plentiful. There's so many of them. You know, I probably better put down a uh, a frozen campfire before oh, dang it. Before King Slime comes around and messes with me. In that same note. So basically we're preparing an arena and defeating a bunch of slimes at the same time. It's canon, guys. It's canon. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. I am not. Nope, nope, nope. Not dealing with you. Crap today. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. No, 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 not gonna deal with it. Nope. 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 I don't put up with it. I won't put up with it. I absolutely refuse to put up with it. You do not realize how much I'm not playing. Close to the king slime limit, y'all. Dangerously close. We are probably about to encounter King Slime and he might slay me. Oh my gosh. We just keep on getting closer and closer, and I keep on getting more and more nervous. Okay, well, honestly, that's a relief. I was truly hoping it would end soon. Okay, um... Ugh, they're still here. Oh, wait. So we have a small portion of snow, snow biome to work with, and I'm thinking that the uh, cabin can go right here. Honestly, this seems like the best place for it. 
was weird. My game just froze for a second. So right around here isn't a bad area. Let's start terraforming and getting some boreal wood. I want this house to have boreal wood furniture. I think that would look pretty cool. Boreal wood's kind of one of my favorites as well, so it's just... It's iconic, you know? Oh, also, because this snow biome is right here on the right side, I know that my dungeon is also on the right side. I also know that because, of course, the dungeon wasn't in the uh, left side whenever we explored it. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get that up yet. We'll leave that down for now. Snow blocks. Let's start placing them down. I want a whole clearing right here before we get to the igloo. Here we go. Also makes it easier to do that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to mine out the uh, stuff I need for the igloo from here. And from up here. And we'll also get more boreal wood that way. But basically just make a whole big clearing. Oh my god, don't even. D just don't touch me. Just don't. Nope, we're, we don't do that here. We don't, we don't do that here. We don't serve your kind here. This sounds really bad. Oh, now it's blizzarding. There we go. And maybe we'll do something like this make it look a little bit more natural. There we go. It's like a natural clearing now. There. We don't deal with your umbrella crap. So this is... We don't really want ice. We want snow. So we're just going to flatten this out completely, for now. We'll get the stuff up top in here in just a little bit. Slummy woman or slummy person. I, I... <laughs> we're sensitive to all genders here. <laughs> Even slime genders we're sensitive to. Okay. Now from the desert, I learned my lesson to always do this first before you start mining the actual snow and everything. You get all the wood, or the trees, or whatever exists in that biome off first. And then you start on the actual terraforming of the land. I think I'm going to leave a snow wall up, though. I think it looks really cool. I think we're going to leave that up. And that'll be a really cool asset to the igloo. We should be able to make plenty of things out of boreal wood for the demolitionist. And the, uh, painter. I'm really impressed with my ability to survive in the snow biome without any shelter so far. Of course, it's during the day, so I shouldn't get too impressed with myself, but <laughs> I'm still happy that this worked out the way it did. Let's 
Let's go side to side at first. Wow, that flying fish really put up a fight. I mean, I just didn't know if I'd be able to get it. I really had no idea. Ugh. Okay, fine. Goodbye. I'll have to blow my nose. It's actually pretty cold here. Um, I know, like... What? It's summer. Yeah, it is summer. But inside this room, I mean, it is frigid. My roommates keep it so freaking cold in here. It's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. Like, I didn't want to live in a winter wonderland. But, you know. My rent's cheap, so... <laughs> Before we mine all this away, I'm gonna send that rope all the way down. So now when we begin breaking the platform completely... Uh, nope, no, 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 Now up to here. We're gonna mine this top layer, and we're gonna mine the bottom one that's underneath it, and then we're gonna stop there. Oh my gosh, really? You just don't get the life region buff all the way over here. It lasts for a long distance, I must say. I guess we can make an igloo and a cabin if we wanted. But I really don't want to make an igloo and a cabin. I think two igloos would look pretty good here. Oh, it must be storming like crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a blizzard this bad in Terraria. I've seen it this bad in my state before. Oh, no, no we don't do that here. Oh man, it stopped. I, thought I, was, I was kind of enjoying it, actually. Oh, there it goes. Oh, never mind. There it goes. It really seems to depend on what I'm doing. That's crazy. I'm bothering putting so much effort into the snow biome. It's because it's just. This reminds me of when I used to play Terraria a long time back. I mean, I was still fresh at this game whenever I discovered the snow biome. I wanted to master it, and I did. So I mined most of my tungsten for my first set of tungsten armor. I did so well at this game before. I guess I'll do well at it. Oh wow, okay. Well, at least I can just... Here we go. You know what? That wall isn't looking quite as cool to me anymore, but I think it's kind of too late to do anything about it. It's night, and so come the zombies.
And I'll make a quick shelter for myself while um, crafting some of the stuff we're going to need for the night. Uh, I don't know if I should do that now. I mean, I'm just starting to go in troves. Let's see if I can just fight them off with my... Just mowing them down like they ain't nothing. Okay, I can deal with this. That's really cool. It's gotten to a matter of not if I want to deal with zombies, or not if I can deal with zombies, but if I want to. You better come get me! I'm gonna make a shelter where you can't get me anymore, how about that? You can with the monsters. Oh ho 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 ho! Oh my god! That felt like power. When they say that video games make people feel powerful, that's what they mean. Let's get these rope down. so easy, y'all. Okay, let me do something. I think I can fix this. For a blood moon when I have this thing. This is gonna be so easy. This kind of makes you slip, so I might just go ahead and um, there go. I might have to go ahead and get that taken care of at some point soon. Well, I really like. Um, I really like being, or having a platinum weapon like this. Goodbye. And we're gonna continue on with what we're doing, undisturbed. Oh, well, we're pretty disturbed now. All these freaking zombies. Bye. And it's really cool knowing that this came from my hard work. I am just scrapping these things. I love it. Okay, now we're gonna replace all of the ice blocks down here with snow blocks to make this ground easier to walk on for NPCs and myself. Okay. 
no one to watch. Any surprises? So building at night is just more of a nuisance than anything else now. That's really good. But I'm going to build a shelter for ourselves. I'm sick of you, zombies. Okay, so now we're safe in here. Let's just wait this out, I suppose. We're gonna make a boreal wood workbench. Alright, let's see what we can do. A table. I'm sure we're gonna need a couple tables, so let's do. Well, this table can count as one, so we'll do another one for the other house. Or igloo or whatever it's gonna be. Wood lantern, a lamp. Oh, those are so pretty. I can see these easily in the demolitionist house. Wait, no, we don't need these, I don't think. I need to stop going crazy with this. Oh, I can make an ice brick? I don't have very many ice blocks. But this is what I really wanted to make. Of course, we're gonna need some of this. And these. I like boreal wood a lot, but I just don't think we're going to need it quite as much as I thought we did at first. Do we have any frozen torches? Yeah, we have some. I'm gonna wait to make some unless we actually need some ice torches. And of course, um,. I don't know if Tiki Torches count against our... Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, wow, Boreal Wood stuff. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's all we can make for now until we get to a sawmill and we can make some more Boreal Wood stuff. This is an insane amount of zombies. Zombies ruining my day, so I decided to murder ya. ultimate power in this world. Dang. Okay. Oh, what just happened? Oh, sorry. I accidentally brought up a settings, um, settings menu on my computer somehow. I don't know how I did that. Is it becoming day? Oh, I did it again. No. No. We don't want you settings. Okay. Yeah, it looks to me like this is just regular day now. I wish I had a better way to tell. Once I get some more platinum, I will. There we go. 
Okay, now to start on the igloo. We're going to pull this down from here. We're gonna put it on top of the boreal wood house for now. This is just like a little hut, you know, this isn't gonna be permanent, but we just wanna make something. Oh man, it's already 40 minutes. That's awesome. Okay, so snow breaks. First, we begin by placing down our foundation. Barely hurt at all. It's awesome. Find our snow bricks. There they are. We're going to need them in our inventory, so let's just do that. Need to get better at aiming that thing. Okay. I think this is a good enough size. Um, I know it looks a little bit long, but that's because we're going to be doing this. In classic igloo style, there will be a little opening here. That big? I think that's fair. There'll just be a regular door back here, but I think the little mouth is going to look cute. round it off after I'm done with the actual shaping of it. I just need to make sure that this all gets symmetrically done. So First things first, we're just going to make the actual shape of it. Yeah, I don't think we can make snow... Uh, we can't make snow furniture, I don't think. sucks. Okay, well we'll just have to use boreal wood for the doors and stuff then, so I guess we will have a use for all that boreal wood. This is really cute. Okay, let's go back in here. My goal is to be able to get a pylon for these ice biomes so I don't have to go through all the craziness. Oh, I just made a regular wood door. No, we don't want that. We want boreal wood. Boreal wood is the standard now here. Ah, here we are. I really don't like them. The knockback is just too much. I'm like, I should be able to just walk right through you. Slime. And then this. This should have been patched out, or I have to do all this business. Let's get my door down. Here we go. So there's that. Uh, oh man. We're going to have to start crafting this carefully. How to round it off. I don't want, because I kind of want this to be the peak of the round on the igloo. So if we. How am I going to do this?
I guess just trial and error. Okay, so far this is symmetrical. Now it's symmetrical. So what I want to do is create a round. I guess some of the frozen platforms and put them up here. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Here we go. Start like that and keep it going down until I feel a good curve has been reached. No, it's not near far enough. really good whenever I actually have everything lined out. Um, I'm going to finalize this. Maybe with just one small change. Yes, I think that will look amazing. So, um... If you guys saw what I did, um, I kind of just placed blocks to where they'd be the actual outline. And I know I'm gonna have to mine all this away, but it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty easy. Watch. the outline for the igloo. It looks pretty good so far. It's gonna look a lot better when we have everything put down. So let's start by putting down a uh, Oh, what am I thinking of? Oh, I feel so dumb right now. Let's start by hammering out these... this craziness.
How cute! And here's the start of the igloo. Knock down all these platforms and start placing walls and stuff around here. I think I'm going to divide it into two parts, one for the painter and one for the other guy. Demolitionist is what his name is. So we can divide it probably about right here, since this is kind of the middle line, even though I know it's not the actual middle line for the uh, rounded part of the igloo, there's that whole door space right there. So let's get the ice bricks, snow bricks. Plain old door right now. That'll have to work. There we go. Nice sections of the house. Or I can even do ice bricks to divide the rooms. I don't know. I want to see how it looks whenever I have the walls placed and everything. So let's see. I had enough on my first try, that's crazy. It doesn't really look a whole lot like an igloo at all. That's the kind of thing that I'm... See, now that I have it all set up, it doesn't look as much like an igloo as I thought it would. see about this. Alright, so all we're missing is a light source table and chair. We already made our table for this one. Actually, let's get this table to the bigger one. And we'll get the small table to the smaller one. frozen campfire down on top of the entire structure as we have most of our camp set up. Bases, whatever you want to call them. There's no one in- there's no one in there. Just- just saying. I don't know if you really want to know that, but whatever. Zombie. Okay, I guess I'll be bloodthirsty over there and we can just stay over here. That's fine by me. First off, boreal wood door. Oh, you know I have a ton of boreal wood doors I could have just got from there. Okay, well I guess we have extras. Alright, now light sources. Uh, we're gonna put these wood lanterns. Oh, they're so pretty. here and right here. Those are pretty. Do I want more of those for here or do I want to put a different kind of light in here? Uh, I don't have access to my star in a bottle yet. Where's the candelabra? Or oh, lamp. This is pretty. Okay, so we can still get forward. Yeah, I think we'll do that for now, because I want to get some star in a bottle from my place, but we'll do that whenever we have a pylon to travel to and from. I just need to place the snow pylon. I don't really care about uh, keeping the uh, pylon, uh, about keeping the forest one, because we can't even get it right now. We have to wait until we get 
happiness up in the NPC area. We'll buy ourselves some pylons and be on our way. So this is really pretty so far, we need some comfort items. Haha! <laughs> We're about to have suitable housing, y'all! And the painter, I don't really know what painters have in their houses. The demolitionist, I can definitely see what would be inside their house. Okay, so we're gonna reassign the painter to... This one's more artsy, I think, so we'll assign him here. And we'll assign the... Where is he? Demolitionist here. Alrighty. Come here. It's slime frying time. Now, um, because of the terrain that we have going on here, it's really, really dark. Um, also, I can destroy this little now. Oh, they're already here! Wow. Let's see if they're selling pylons yet. Nope. Nope. Rainbow yeah. wallpaper. Oh, that's pretty, really pretty. Okay, so we've got no pylons yet. Uh, that kind of sucks. Find out what's going on with that. <laughs> okay, so he likes it here. So they both they both feel like they're nice and isolated. That's good. So that's that's all I really wanted from that. Um, I wanted them to feel isolated and, and good. I wanted them to feel excellent in their new home. But we have no pylon, so I can't place it yet. That sucks. At least I won't need their services while I'm back at the house, the base. But I'm going to do some other things, like placing ice torches on the property. That one is uneven right there. I have to step down now and replace it. There's not really a whole lot over here to even see. Let's take down those regular torches and grab the ice torch. safe in your new home. Oh, oh damn, he was gonna throw bombs. Okay. Well, we're not doing that right now, Morthal. It's okay, you can withhold your bombs. Oh, you know what? I think we look really pretty. I guess we don't have enough torches to do it, do we? Oh, yes we do. That looks fantastic. We need to put a few over here, though. I think this area needs more torches. These ones won't be quite as fancy as the other ones, but they'll look nice. Now I need one, thank you. Oh my gosh. Kidding me? 
this civilization pretty obvious over here. There, now that they're lost at night, they can follow the torches to the way home. This also starts the underground cave as well, since that cavern, that, that place where that, that opens up right here, this mouth, that's going to be the place where I put the underground cavern here. I'll make a new mine shaft in a little while. Should we do snow mining or should we should we just mess with what we've got? I mean, we've got quite a bit of stuff in our inventory. I really wish you were selling a pylon. I'm like a nurse. Ha! That was totally worth it was a bit of health for. Well, I think we're all good and we freed up some space at the house, so I think it's time for us to go back and see if they have some forest pile on there. Uh, that's kind of what I want now too. I want I want pylons. I want to place one here. I want to place one in the forest. So let's go home and see. Um, we'll put up our inventory. Then we'll start thinking about uh, snow mining. I'd really like to snow mine at some point in this playthrough. So we'll see. Okay. Actually, let me go to the sawmill. Let's see what kind of things are gonna make with boreal wood. Oh, boreal. I thought that was. I thought those two were mixed up. I was confused. I think this would be good for the. Demolitionist, and so would this. Okay, so I made a bunch of demolitionist items, but that's about it. Okay, so at least he's happy now. What about the angler? Okay, he's happy too. Hopefully the forest guys are Ooh, that's a cool thing that I need. Where's my tools? Um, get you. I'm gonna get you. Ha ha! I got the golden bunny! Okay. Just back my tools. Now, are you selling a pylon, forest merchant? No pylon. Zoologist, what about you? Nope. Okay, well, I will have to see. I I'm gonna have to go online and see. Wait. Oh! Oh, I can get a hook! Let's see. Yeah, I think this is gonna be worth it. I'm getting a hook. Yeah, we're definitely. That was a worthy purchase. Oh. Oh, I have my hook back. You can hook to trees with this one. Oh man. I'm just gonna have to be careful about fall damage now, but look at this. I can I can mess with trees, I can go all the way up trees if I want.
Okay, so I can only go up to the uh, very, very bottom of the green. This is so cool. Oh! Fall damage is a thing, that's right. <laughs> um, I want to get a bomb and put it in this item frame. And then I want to give it to the... <laughs> Let's go stack our stuff. That wasn't a lot of stuff that got stacked. Let's see, crafting. Ooh, there's gonna be lots of these. This isn't really all that hard, though. Let's see, we always put the green slime benders right up here. And the blue slime banners, we'll put them over here, too. Lots of gold ore. I think it goes from the slimes. We'll sell that. That's sell. We'll keep these doors because we'll definitely need them at some point in the future. Intrepid radar. I uh, currently have a rash radar. Melee speed. 3% melee speed. Okay, that's a better one. We'll sell this one. I don't want to sway a snow coat. I just kind of like the golden bunnies, I think they're really cute, so I'm gonna keep them. Uh, also, we need to make wood platforms. Not boreal wood platforms, but regular wood platforms. They're too useful to have around. I can't be without my wood platforms. I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna. Moonglow seeds, that's it. And Put the frozen zombie banner in with the other uh, people in the snow, so I guess we'll put that. We'll make out of that, so we'll make something. Okay, let's go sell these items. I thought there was some way to like auto put this in here. Do I really have to? Okay. We got a fair amount of gold from all that. You're still not selling a pylon, are you? Nope. They were in the beginning, too, which is what's frustrating. Because I remember them selling pylons before, and now they're not. Okay, now what we've got left is... We're definitely going to keep all this regular wood. I guess we can keep the frozen platforms too. Snow blocks. Oh, this thing's getting pretty full, ain't it? Um, I'm not sure what we do with golden bunnies, but I'll find out. Put our ice torches in here. Wow. Yeah, if we go by and drop these things off uh, at the house, we should have enough space for some more stuff. I guess Golden Buddy will count as furniture for now. 
And of course, we're gonna grab, let's see, where's our consumables? We're gonna make some regular potions. Here we are. This last one we'll put in consumables. That way they will auto stack. Very nice. Okay, and lastly, we're going to quick stack all our monies, just like that. All right, very nice. I'm going to drop these off at the, uh, whatchamacallit. And you know what? Because I'm about to end this episode, it's getting pretty long. And I'm probably going to go to sleep for the night. We're going to take our spawn out of here. We're going to take it away. And we're gonna put it in the snow biome. That's right. I'm gonna put my spawn up there. And if I want to go back to the forest, I can just remove it and just and it'll spawn me back here. So that'll be like a pylon in a way without having to worry about pylons. I guess I stacked my dirt block. Is there a single dirt block in here? I don't see a single dirt block. Okay, whatever. Oh, whoops. And now we have a hook! Yay! Alright, let's head to the snow biome. just to see what would happen and you can't eat it. I think was like, I'm smarter than that. Is that Starcoin? I thought that said Starcoin. It was like a rogue. Oh, wow. The 50th Eater of Souls. Looking forward to EOW because that's a boss I've actually never faced before in this game. Not even once have I faced EOW, nor did I ever plan to. Goodbye. <laughs> to not be dumb and use the wooden platforms. Use the wooden platforms. Use the wooden platforms. Oh my gosh. You know, I still haven't seen a single strange plant. I'm not gonna give y'all the satisfaction of killing me, just saying. Y'all didn't even kill me. I killed myself in that playthrough. Haha. Uh -huh. Die! I'm pretty easily able to go through the corruption now. It's not really a thing that I have to worry about anymore. I mean, obviously, I don't like the chasm still. Uh, but now that I have a hook, why didn't I just use my hook? I could just use my, my hook that entire freaking time. In fact, Cash Rage is cooking past all of this. Watch this. I 
have just done that? What is wrong with me? Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna. We're still gonna have to. Uh, 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 no, we don't do that here. We don't do that here. Okay, finally, we got to the snow biome again. Oh man, that was insane. I can see why they said that um, at their first plan of having the hook always be able to do trees was kind of disruptive to the game. I'm really thankful for it right now because it's allowing me to easily buy plastic in places. I can't deny that it has kind of annoyed me a couple times already. As soon as I can get a normal hook, I will be getting one. But for now, this is a really big blessing. Hey, y'all! So, Demolitionist. Get a bomb off you. Thank you, thank you. It says right click to wait, wait, I guess I can't be in the, his inventory to do that. Right click to place item on item brain. Right clicking. Right click. Oh, no, I don't want that. I want my diamond staff back. There we go. Aha! Okay, I figured out how to do it. This is one of those things that just makes sense in a demolitionist house. I'll put this in the painter's house. How about that? And now... Ah! Even more power! Taste my awesome power! Zombie ass. So, I'm gonna be sleeping with a painter again, y'all. Just saying. <laughs> Here we are. Um. So, yeah. And I think this is where this episode's gonna end. Oh, wait, no, I need to set my spawn point. No, I don't wanna sleep. There, spawn point set. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you like it, and have a good day. Bye!